What's up guys? So in this video, I'm going to show you how to back up your SHSH files for any of your iDevices running 4.1 firmware. Now the reason you want to do this is because 4.2 firmware is just around the corner and if you guys accidentally upgrade or need to get back down to 4.1, you won't be able to do that without your SHSH files saved. So it is very important that you have them backed up, whether it be on your computer or through Cydia's server. So the program we'll need to do this is called Firmware Umbrella. It's available for Mac, Windows, and Linux. I'll have the link to this website down in the underbar. The download links will be here off to the right. Just go ahead and click whatever it is you have and it will start to download. And once your download is finished, you're gonna open it up and it will install and it's going to install the program right to your computer. Once it's installed, open it up and it should look something like this with a whole bunch of different options here. Just ignore everything for right now and uh, just go ahead and connect up whatever device you want to uh, save your SHSH blobs to. And uh, whatever device you connected should come up over here to connected devices go ahead and select it um, you'll give the device model the installed firmware version and all this other information that it stores um, but what we're concerned about right now is this button over here save SHSH go ahead once you're connected click it and uh, it will start to save your SHSH files and it's going to save it as a single file to your computer and it's also going to push it out to Cydia's server so that it's saved on Cydia as well. So uh, just go ahead and wait for this to uh, go through its thing. Be patient. Don't click anything. Don't go messing with any settings that you don't know what you're doing. Be patient and uh, let it do its thing. Um, if you're curious about anything else on this program the general, like I said, just goes over the uh, device's information. The log here kind of shows you what is happening. Right now it's saving through um, Cydia's server and saving through um, your computer as well. Um, you can watch this if you want. It's really not that exciting. Um, but once it's done, you should have some green text here that says Cydia does have your SHSH blobs and uh, once you're done you're done um, it'll finish up here and uh, down here in the bottom where it says saved SHSH for whatever device you have you should see uh, either 4.0 or 4.1 whatever you saved it as it's gonna save it as the most recent firmware so should be 4.1 and uh, once it's saved once the program has done its thing you're good you have SHSH blobs on file and uh, you are good to go when 4.2 comes out now when 4.2 comes out I highly recommend that you do not update at least not right away especially if you um, are an unlocker if you run T-Mobile or out of the country and your iPhone is uh, not on an AT&T contract. If you're unlocked, don't up get update. Just leave it alone and uh, wait for the unlocks and the jailbreaks to come out. So there you go. If you have any questions, feel free to post a comment down below or send me a message. I'll do my best to help you out. This isn't that hard. Hopefully you guys have all your SHSH files saved. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video.